getting ready to dump some compost into our worm bins. This is more of a worm trough setup. We're trying to build our worm population up at the moment. So rather than using this as a horizontal migrating worm bin, which is how it was built, we're using it as one large worm bin and feeding it all, all the time to try to get our worms built up as much as possible. And then we're gonna be spreading this dense worm population out into more worm bins outside. So what we're doing is concentrating our worms at the moment. And we have um, 48 cubic feet uh, worm space in here at the moment, which is nice. That's a lot for just the footprint we have. And that should spread out into enough, you know, hopefully at least four or five worm bins for us so we can start accepting more compost. And the reason I'm digging the trench, you really want to bury your food scraps as deep as you can. It'll help cut down on the fruit flies. Well, that's really why we do is cut down on the fruit flies. Uh, but it gives the worms just better access to it. It won't rot when it's up above the surface. You can even kind of see with some of the sunflower seeds, they'll mold up a little bit. So we try to bury everything and it breaks down more quickly and more cleanly. This is our compost we get from the spot here in Pittsfield. It's just ideal. It's fruit, vegetable scraps. It's been all pureed and broken down. I don't know what that is, but the worms love it. And now they've added coffee grinds. We um, never mentioned coffee grinds to the people we were composting with and we felt dumb because we both had stopped drinking coffee in the last year and stop putting it in our, our compost, but it's an excellent little boost in nitrogen and it provides grit for the worms to break down other foods. Worms like turkeys and yeah. other animals with gizzards <laughs> need grit to help break down their food. So coffee is a killer source of grit for worms to help break their food down. Last bucket. Um, I don't know how much it was. We, we need to start weighing our compost more, but it felt to be maybe 100 pounds, and this will be gone in less than 30 days. I mean, it'll be vaporized. It'll just look like this in 30 days, or less, probably less than 30 days. Um, so worms are just—they're incredible composters, and this will just be the best best stuff for our plants ever.